go. Uh, okay, guys. Um, so right now we're, we'll be talking about um, blind and semi-blind contour drawing. Um, remember, a contour is the interior and exterior edges of a form. Um, doing a contour drawing, um, you're delineating both the interior and the exterior edges of that form. Um, remember, you're working with a single, fluid, unbroken line. Um, never lift your charcoal from the paper. Um, and the difference between a blind and a semi-blind contour drawing, remember, um, with a blind contour drawing, you never look at the drawing. Um, the drawing will then uh, therefore be quite abstract. Um, the, the various forms won't line up quite as much as, as they could. Um, with a semi-blind contour drawing, you will kind of double back and, and sort of check the drawing periodically. Um, that information then will be a bit more wrangled. Um, so for this exercise, you'll be doing blind and semi-blind contour drawings of your hands. Um, I'd like you to focus on pushing and pulling through the length of the conte. Um, not drawing with the tip, but drawing with the entire length of the conte. Um, so remember, this is a very slow, deliberate exercise. I'm picking a point, which is my thumbnail right now. And very slowly, very deliberately, following the contours of my hand. You guys will be making multiple hand and object drawings here. A main benefit of this exercise has to do with finding a sort of pathway across various parts of your form. So again, delineating both the interior and exterior edges of your object, or of, of, in this case, your hand. So now I just worked right across the wrist and I'm coming into the palm of my hand, this sort of low part down here, and working into the creases, the wrinkles, those interior edges of my palm. And now moving into my pinky. For sake of the demo, I'm going a bit quicker than I normally would. Um, I'd like you guys to go as slow as possible. Um, each drawing should take about five to six minutes each. Notice again, as I'm working, my eyes are glued to the subject. I'm never looking at the drawing. What this does, this really helps to develop a high degree of hand-eye coordination. What you're looking at is what you're drawing. You're almost imagining your eyes scanning this form, and there's a link between what you're looking at and what you're drawing. So, that's a very quick, completely blind contour drawing. Um, we'll be moving now into semi-blind contour. Um, for the semi-blind contour drawings, I, uh, just to complicate the, the exercise a bit more, um, grasp or, or, or grip um, an object, draw your hand and the object, um, use something that's, that's sort of natural, organic. Um, here I'm using this uh, vertebrae here. Um, and you'll see the main difference here is maybe once every 10 seconds, I'll glance at the drawing just to double check my location. Um, the semi-blind contour drawing, because of that glancing, will be a little bit more pulled together. So again, same sort of deliberate exercise, slow, cautious, very deliberate, starting with this vertebrae, now getting into my thumbnail, and just periodically checking my location. Again, maybe once every 10, maybe 15 seconds. Coming up to the knuckle of my index finger. And I want to make sure that the tip of that finger hits right about so on that vertebrae. 
tip of my middle finger, back edge of that vertebrae, ring finger, and back into that vertebrae. And I know I want that to rest right at the sort of meat of the palm um, near my thumb here. So your semi-blind contour drawings are just as slow, they're just as deliberate. The main difference between the semi-blind and the completely blind contour drawings is that with the semi-blind, you are peeking at your drawing every now and then just to double check your location. Okay, good luck.